Hey guys, my name is Mark and on this video I'm going to show you how to do the cockpit drill. So the first thing you do when you get in the car is make sure that the door is closed. You can test this by pushing the door, we're giving a little wiggle and if it moves it's probably not closed properly and if it's not, you can just open it again fully and then with a bit of force pull it and it should close properly. So as the driver it's your responsibility to make sure that all the doors are closed properly. So your door, passenger side door, the back doors and the boot as well. So most cars will have a little light in the dashboard warning you if the doors are not closed. So if that's the case, if let's say you started driving already, just pull over somewhere safe and then you can sort it out. The next thing you want to sort out is the handbrake. So you want to make sure that's tightly secured so that the car doesn't move once you start. The best way to do that is to give it a pull and if it's doesn't move that much then it's probably on so let me just release it just so i can show you what i mean so if it wasn't on properly like that let's say it was like there you see it still moves and then you can pull it up and then it clicks so that one you know that it's definitely in place then especially if you're finding it a struggle to pull it up anymore then it's, it should be in place so you want to be in a good position so that you're not too far away that your arms are so stretched out and that you're not so close that you're uncomfortable you want to have a slight bend in your arms so that when you control the steering wheel it's going to be really comfortable if you do that rather than all the way off in the hair like that so you can move the whole base of the seat by pulling this bar here at the bottom here you can pull it up and then you can slide the whole seat back and forth to their desired position so you can do this by holding the steering wheel and then just pulling yourself forward and just pushing it or pulling yourself back once you get it in the place that you want it to be you just let go of the bar and then it clicks into place you can move it up and down using this lever here you want to pump it to a level where your eyes are level with the middle of the windscreen so that you can see over the steering wheel and you're not too low and if you want to adjust the back rest here, which is the big part of the seat, you use this little knob here so you can twist it forward to bring your, the seat forward or you can bring it back like that as well just by twisting it backwards. And you want to do it in a way so that your arms are not stretching to reach the steering wheel and also that they're not so close up that they've got a big fold in them. You want to do it in a way that's got a slight bend in the arms so that you can control the steering wheel properly. So the next you want to adjust your head restraint and this is there to prevent a neck injury if you get into a crash. And the best way to do that is making sure that the center of the head restraint is in line with your eyes or your top of your ear. So just put your hand here like next to your face like that and then push back until you've touched the head restraint and then you can check if it's in the middle. If it's not in the middle, you can always adjust it by using, there's a button just here. You can press it and then you can move the head restraint up and down. Once you've got it in the place that you want it to be, just let go of that, then it clicks into place. Next, you want to adjust your steering wheel. Now this steering wheel can be adjusted by unlocking this lever just here then you can move it up down you can even move it towards the dashboard you can pull it out towards you if you want it a bit closer but what you want to make sure is that you can still see the dials on the dashboard there so that it's, it's not getting in the way so adjust it to the place that you want it to be so that your arms are not too stretched as well so it's just nice and comfortable and then once you've got it to the position you want it to be in pull this up it's quite hard to pull up but you lock it back into place and your steering wheel is sorted out. Next, you want to do your seat belt. And the best way to do that is use your hand, just get the seat belt like this, bring it across your chest and across your body, using your other hand to make sure that it comes out nice and flat and then clip it into place. And just run your thumb and your fingers across it like that, just to make sure that it's flush and it's straight against your body. Because if it's like this or if it's twisted like that and get into an accident, it's going to cut into your skin. So you want it nice and flat like this so that it doesn't cut into your skin. To release it, all you need to do is just press this red button here. So when you press that, it unclips, but don't just let go of it like that. You need to press it and then hold it with your hand and then feed it back into place like this. Because if you let go of it, it's likely to fly into your window and it could damage your window, even fly into your face. So next you want to sort your mirrors out. So for the side mirrors, you just use this control here just next to the door handle and then uh, above the window controls. You can use this button here to decide which mirror you want to control. So let's start with the right one. So you push this one all the way to the right. And then you can use the arrows up, down, right, and left. So if you press up, the mirror goes up. If you press down, the mirror goes down. So you want to move it around until you get this sort of image. So you got the pavement, you got a bit of the car as well, and then you also got some of the sky. So you want to be half the road and half of the sky and including those houses as well and a bit of, the, of our car as well you want to be able to see that too then once you've done with that side you push it over to the left and then you can control that mirror as well so you want a similar image in there so you want to move it around until you can see a bit of the car a bit of the sky and the road so for the center mirror you want to use both hands on either side you don't touch the glass just put your fingers on either side of the mirror and then you can move it around until you can see this sort of image in there so you can see the back screen in there you see what's going on behind and that's how you adjust that one. 